An increasing problem and challenge for the future is uh, the increasing CO2 concentrations in the atmosphere. And uh, usually we look at it being a problem, but at the same time it's also a chance uh, because it's a carbon source we can use to make useful compounds out of it. And so our motivation is to find new ways to convert CO2 into useful products. We are interested because chemistry cannot do that. So there's no chemical process, no catalyst, which could simply filter out the CO2 from the atmosphere, but biology can do it very efficiently. And this is our motivation to look at the biology of CO2 fixation. So if you think about plants, they're efficient CO2 fixing filters, but they are not fast. And uh, I think there's a chance to improve existing biology with synthetic biology. The problem in existing biological CO2 fixation is that the main enzyme, Rubisco, is a very slow catalyst. So it takes only five or 10 CO2 molecules per second. And there's other ways, there's other enzymes that can do the job better. And we have an enzyme in our lab which can fix CO2 at 80 CO2 molecules per second. So it's 20 times faster. And our idea was now take this enzyme and reinvent CO2 fixation on the basis of this new enzyme we have discovered. So how do you build a synthetic chloroplast and what can you do with it? We can simply use the energy machinery for the synthesis, put it inside of a synthetic cell, and this allows us now to power up this cell with light. So this is a really exciting time for us as biologists. We can only learn from the principle of nature, but we can also build systems from the bottom up. Let's create systems, artificial chloroplasts, artificial leaves, that will do photosynthesis better and faster than what na nature has invented so far. And this, of course, then provides us as mankind with a chance to create a sustainable, healthy planet for the future.